Welcome to Jung Study Lab YouTube channel. Hope you are doing very well in your studies. Today's lesson is reviewing Asia Chemistry Multiple Choice Exam Questions Part 2 for Winter 2022. Without further ado, let's get started. Zinc oxide is an amphoteric oxide. Which types of substances will react with zinc oxide? Zinc oxide is an amphoteric oxide as it reacts with both acid and alkaline depending on whether the reactant is acid or base. The answer is A. 22. Information about some silver compound is shown. We have here compound silver carbonate, formula AJ2CO3, and solubility in water is status insoluble. We have silver chloride, AGCL, and soluble in water is also insoluble. Compound like silver nitrate, the formula is AgNO3, and in terms of the solubility in water is soluble. And also we have silver oxide, formula is Ag2O, and solubility in water is insoluble. Silver salt is one of the chemical compounds that can form between the element silver, Ag, and one of the halogens. The formula is HX, where X is one of the halogens. Example, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, or acetine. So which equations show a reaction which cannot be used to make a silver salt? So the example given here is we have this silver nitrate. Reactions with hydrogen chloride to form silver chloride and nitric acid, which also a silver salt. And B, we have Ag2O is a silver oxide and reacted with nitric oxide acid to form silver nitride and water. And finally, we have silver carbonate react with nitric acid to form silver nitrate, water, and carbon dioxide. And finally, we have 2 Ag plus with 2 hydrochloric acid to form 2 AgCl plus hydrogen, which is silver chloride and hydrogen. So the answer will be D. Aquas et ethanoid acid is a weak acid, and aqua sodium hydroxide is a strong base. Aqua Ethanol acid is neutralized by aqua sodium hydro hydroxide, which statement is correct. Refer to chapter acid and bases. The ethanol acid is donating the proton, means that hydrogen ion and the hydroxide ion base is accepting it. And ethanol acid is a typical weak acid. It reacts with water to produce hydroxonium ion and ethanol ion. That means among the four, it seems that the upper sodium hydroxide used is fully deassociated into ions. And sodium hydroxide and OH is a strong base because when placed in water, it's this associate completely into sodium ions, which is Na+, and hydroxyl ion, OH negative, all of which are now released and dissolved in water. And the ethanol acid reacts with base sodium hydroxide to form sodium ethanol, salt, and water. So in this case, I would say that 3 and 4 is the most related explanation. So the answer would be D. 24. 
three properties of element X are listed. It contains atom with a full outer shell of electron. It is a monoatomic and it is unreactive. In which part of the periodic table is the element place? So refer to chapter periodic table. Group A of the periodic table are the noble gases or inert gases. Example, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. These are from group A, noble gases. So the names comes from the fact that these elements are virtually unreactive towards other elements. And they have a full outer shell of electron, which is already answered here, this and this. And the atom of noble gases already have complete outer shell, so they have no tendency to lose gain. So the answer is group A. 25. Which diagram represents the arrangement of the outer shell electron on a noble gas? So if you can see, the answer for chapter A is helium. Refer to chapter 4. The deducing electronic structure helium consists of two atoms and four relative atomic mass. So the answer will be A. Which segments about the attractions of aluminium is correct? Aluminium is formed at the cathode during the electrolysis of aluminium oxide. During electrolysis, positively charged aluminium ions gain electron from the cathode. And for molten aluminium, oxide ion lose electron at the anode. So N for oxygen molecule. So the answer will be in. And metal N is made with copper to produce brass. What is M? I would say that refer to chapter metal. Copper is pure metal. Brass and bronze are copper alloy. Brass is a combination of copper and zinc. So I would say that the answer for this is D, zinc. And the table gives some properties of an element. Melting point in 3, 4 to 2 Celsius. Appearance of the elements is grey. Appearance of the chloride of the element is dark blue. In terms of the density, in gram is about 19.2 cm3. And in terms of electricity conductivity, it is good when uh, the element is in solid. So which other properties does this element have? So I would say that this criteria of properties is belong to tungsten. Tungsten 6 chloride is a blue black solid at the room temperature. And tungsten also acts as a catalyst. So the answer would be A. Ammonia is produced using the hyper process, which will show the source of the raw material and the erection conditions. So if you look at this diagram, we can see that the source of nit nitrogen is come from the air. Okay, is it the this, this, this? So, and then we say that source of the hydrogen, source of hydrogen is come from natural gas. Nitrogen, natural gas is actually can be in a form of hydrocarbon. So, the answer for this would be hydrocarbon A, C, or D. But when it comes to temperature, so it describes when the nitrogen and hydrogen react. So what will happen during this time? So it says that it could be the temperature during the harbor process is between 400 to 450 Celsius. So I would say that uh, A is already not applicable. So it comes to either C or D. And it says that the pressure is actually 200 atm. So the pressure is about 200 atm. So D is not applicable. The answer for this is C. Iron rust when exposed to air, which two substances in air cause iron to rust? So the iron react with water and oxygen to form iron three oxide, which we see as a rust. So the answer will be oxygen and water. Number 31, the equations for the reaction occurring in the contact process is shown. 
SO2 plus O2 to form 2 SO3. What is the catalyst used in this reaction? I would say that conversion of sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide. So the process is called catalyzed by the vanadium pentoxide catalyst. So in this case, vanadium is a catalyst. Which information about carbon dioxide and methane is correct? So when the greenhouse gases include carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and other gases that accumulate in the atmosphere and create the half reflective layer and keep the earth at a livable temperature. So these gases form the insulation that keeps the planet warm enough to support life. So I would say that in terms of, uh, you can say greenhouse gases. That is the answer for number 32. The structure of an ester is shown. So what are the name of a carboxylic acid and the alcohol that react together to form this ester? So you can see from this diagram is similar. So I would say that this is the reaction between carboxylic acid, which is ethanol acid, and the propanol. So the answer would be B. Which statement about lime are correct? Lime is produced by heating calcium, calcium carbonate, which is number one. Lime is used to remove acidic gases and particular sulfur dioxide and hydrogen chloride from fluid gases. Lime-based technology is also being evaluated for the removal of mercury. Lime is more reactive than limestone and requires less capital equipment. And uh, lime or calcium oxide is wiped solid with strong basic properties. So I would say step one, two, and four. So this is the explanation why we choose one, two, and four. Which structure is correctly named? Refer to chapter alcohol and carboxylic acid. So this C is actually the correct answer. The correct name for ethanol. Okay, and then the structure of part of the polymer is shown. Let me explain about uh, this is when happened about the monomers and polymer and the double bond, you should refer to the carbon is the parent change. Changes is actually happened here. So listen carefully. Double bond due to bonding through. It's actually when it's happened to bonding, double bond, you can see this is all double bond. So double bond due to bonding through. You have to remember the rules later on. So polymers, these are the polymers, are the makeup of many monomers together. When they join, they become polymer. So in order to become polymer, they have a small, small mono monomers okay, joined together to make up or to build or to develop polymer. Okay, what are the bonding rules? Bonding rules is carbon will form four bonds. So in that case, is carbon has four valence electrons. And but hydrogen form only one bond. So if you look at here, we have carbon, but it linked with chlorine and hydrogen. So we have chlorine linked with hydrogen. And also we have another carbon where it links with hydrogen and also CH3. That's why you have hydrogen and CH3. And same thing goes here. We have carbon. Carbon is actually got four hands. Okay. So in this case, Carbon, they have chlorine and they have hydrogen. And at the same time, they have hydrogen and CH3. That's why you have number one and number two is also correct. And you see uh, number three. Number three, they have CH3 and Cl. If you look at this diagram, they don't have the combination of CH3 and Cl. 
they have H and CH3. So, 3 cannot be accepted. And carbon, they, they can't have 2 hydrogen. Because hydrogen is only, or consists of only one bond. And number 4, then we look at C, they have Cl and H. Cl and H, okay. How about this one? They don't have CH3 with Cl. They have CH3 with hydrogen. So in this case, the answer should be 1 and 2. So the answer should be A. Carboxylic acid are made by the oxidation of alcohol. Which carboxylic acid is produced from CH3, CH2, OH? So the answer will be ethanoic acid. And propane, C C3, H6, react with bromine, B2, in an addition reaction. Which structure represents the product of this reaction? From this, you can see C3, H6, C3, H6, plus Br2, then we have Br2. So the most suitable diagram is should be C, where you have C3, 1, 2, 3. We have H6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then we are 2, 1, 2. So the answer would be C. And number 39, which statement about ethanol are correct? Ethanol has many uses as a solvent. Okay, number one. For resin, fatty acid, hydrocarbon, fat oil, and waxes. So number one is already is already the correct answer. Hydrogen chloride and ethanol are covalent compound, compound soluble in water. So ethanol is a covalent compound. And ethanol can be made directly from ethane. I don't think so. So the answer would be one and three. Number 40. Which diagram represents the structure of nylon? I would say it's that amid group of a nylon molecules are very polar and from hydrogen bonding with each other. <clears throat> okay, bonding with each other. Due to hydrogen bonding, the nylon backbone becomes regular and symmetrical and the structure makes the nylon Crystalline. So the answer would be C. You can see these are the amide link. We have nitrogen linked to hydrogen and also nitrogen linked to hydrogen. So the answer would be C. Our presentation will come to the end for this winter 2022 for multiple choice question. Later on, I will proceed to the year 2021. So with that being said, I would like to wish you all the best in your study and please subscribe to Jones Stadilla YouTube channel and follow me at Jones Stadilla Instagram. So for your information, there will be a customized note at Beacon page. You can access to the link to the link given. Okay. Um, will be given in the this YouTube channel at the description and or you can click to the Instagram link and go straight to Beacon page. So thank you very much.